Hey everybody, it's Gamerock and we're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we got our ship back and managed to take out Vigoro, but uh, Kangen managed to summon Blueheim and now we're fighting yet another Gigas. Thank you, sir, for that. So yeah, um, this fight's kind of interesting. <laughs> As I don't remember much about it other than the fact that I'm going to fail if I don't do the right thing. Okay. Just gonna focus our butts off. That's my plan. Focus my butt off. But yeah, like I said in the last part, um, Blueheim has probably one of the coolest character models. He's, I don't know, it's just like. It's a very seamless model. It almost looks like something you'd see on like current gen stuff. And it looks like a Pokemon. I don't know if that really plays into that, but there you go. He just, he just rained destruction on me. Ow! Yeah, his attacks don't do too much damage, but um, the fact that he can spam them like every turn, it makes it kind of kind of rough. Probably should have healed, actually. Meh. Yeah, just look, look at the little like rainbow thing. It's like a giant mutated Nyan cat. <laughs> no, it's nothing like me, okay? It's nothing like. And I do like the scenery. I mean, we have the whole, like, Great Wall thing going on. Yafatoma and Mount Kazai. Pretty sweet. But, yeah. Basically, we're. I can't believe how fast this thing is. I never thought something could so big can move so fast. Basically, we're gonna look for an opening like that one with the Moonstone Cannons. Yeah. Um, 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 um. Alright. What are we gonna do here? I don't know. Just doing things, because that's what I like to do. Use a deluxe kit right there. And, um... Let's buff myself. Yes. That should work nicely. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. But anyway, look at this Phoenix Ray. Why does he shoot the sky? Only for the sky to spew the stuff back out of me. Why doesn't he just shoot me directly? You know? I don't understand that very much. But, uh, man, what was I gonna say? Ugh. Maybe I already said it and I just forgot. Oh, man. It's like... <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this right now. I always do this at night. Blue lightning. Oh, God. Okay, so he's used some crazy light show from the sky, and then blue lightning. Those don't really seem like water or wind attacks, honestly. Well, lightning, I guess, is created by clouds. Sort of. <laughs> Magnetic charge in the air. I don't know. I guess it makes sense. Boom. Well, we'll get you yet, you giant bird creature. One of these days. Ugh. I really wish he could skip his attacks. <laughs> They're just so drawn out, and he spams them every turn. Ugh. So yeah, this fight can really drag out if you don't um, use your Moonstone Cannons effectively or whatever. So fortunately, next turn is going to start our little chain of success again. Okay, so you might notice we have two options for what's going to happen next time. Um, and we have also two options of when to use our Moonstone Cannon. So what we're going to do is actually use the Moonstone Cannon on the first one, and you have to guard on the, on the last turn before the 
two reds or whatever, because he's about to use an attack, and if you are guarding, then you can avoid it, I guess? So that's that's the gimmick to this fight, basically. <laughs> um, I need to heal really badly. And then, uh, let's... Uh, uh, let's just use this. I don't know. Like, I think like the, uh, the ships in this area, <laughs> Blueheim is actually really evasive, so if you're not attacking on a C turn, you have a very high chance of missing. I think that's how it works, but, uh, and yeah, don't quote me on that. Regardless, the main way you're going to take this guy down is with Moonstone Cannon, so not that it would matter too much. Man, the scenery here is just so awesome. <laughs> Moonstone cannon, fire! Booyah! Man, that was like half his health. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe like a third, but still, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, now he's supposed to do his crazy attack. Blue wins! That's some crazy win. <laughs> oh lord. So yeah, it doesn't do much damage, but... If you get hit by that without blocking, I, I think it uh, really screws you up. Alright, we got thrown back a little bit, but we're still in attack position. Yeah, it looks like the ship can handle that big bird's wind attack if we just brace ourselves for it. Enough talk, everyone. Now's our chance. Vice, we await your, await your commands. Well, I uh, pretty easy command. There you go. And uh, might as well buff myself again. Um, 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 um. Oops. Hold up. And then we will heal myself, yes? Oh, I should probably focus. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need enough, uh, Moonstone Juice. <laughs> SP. No. Uh, moonstone Juice? What am I talking about? I don't know why, but like, even though it's one in the morning, I'm just excruciatingly hyper and it's annoying. I hope it's not annoying you guys. <laughs> Probably is. Yeah, whatever. I just got back from a trip to um, Pike's Peak, which is this, I, can't remember, I think it's like 15,000 feet mountain. And we rode this cool like cog train up to the top. Ran, ran on a gear or whatever. It was pretty cool. We had to sit like right across from this, this couple and it was really awkward because they were like a foot from us. <laughs> so I was like staring right at this girl. You know, I, she was not half bad looking. But I was like, you know, really awkward because she was right next to her boyfriend. You know, it's, you know, it's a situation that you just can't win. So I just okay, kind of looked out the window most of the time. Well, you know, it was a good view. <laughs> oh, Lord. We even saw some um, bighorn sheep, which are actually pretty hard to find. They, they live in really high altitudes above tree lines where, like, the trees stop growing, you know? Yeah, they live really high up. It was so cold. I think with the wind chill, it was like negative nine degrees at the at the peak, at the summit. <laughs> oh my god! And I had just this hoodie on. I freaking froze, man. I was shaking like a maraca. 
Anyway, yes! We're gonna win! I think. So yeah, same thing. See how we have the two chances again? Same kind of thing. But I think we might win, so... I don't know. I'm gonna use Sacklin. <laughs> And then I don't have enough SP to do anything else, so I'm just going to guard, I guess. You know what this thing looks like? Is like um, Silverhawk from uh, Beast Wars Transformers. His wings. His wings remind me that. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, he's just he's just got a freaking wolf with wings, but for some reason, maybe it's his transmetal form or something. I don't know. Way to show your inner nerd, dude. Good lord. I can't, I can't remember. Like, I don't even know if he went transmetal in the show, but I know there was a toy of it, and he had like really cool wings. <laughs> wow. Yep. So there you go. Or a goose. Looks kind of like a goose. Very weird goose. Come on, Moonstone Cannon. I believe in your energy juice. Do it. Yeah, this is the first time we've actually taken down it. What? Dude, was he blocking or something? Why did it do so little damage? Yeah, this is the first time we've ever taken down a Gigas. Like, the other times we did not. <laughs> I guess we have enough juice with this thing that we can do that. Your blue winds are no match for my, uh, green bubble block. Although it looks like it's blowing its way over there. Dude, just freaking die already. Alright, we withstood its wind attack again. Now it's our turn to fight back. I probably could have gone without reading that. Man, I don't have any moonstone cannon attempts here. Dag nabbit. Well, hopefully we can do something here. Um. Well, I wonder if torpedoes work. I'm gonna try it. Well, of course, on a C turn it probably will, but <laughs> I mean, it worked against the the Tenku ship, spell ship. So, hey, why not? You know. Probably has like 15,000 more health. Which means we probably won't take it out this turn, but who knows? I do have an Incrim on me, so I don't know. Come on, lucky crits or something. I think we should like weaken it and capture it. And, wow, twenty thousand. Okay, <laughs> he's almost dead. I can't believe that didn't take him out. But yeah, <laughs> throw a pokeball quick. He's got like zero health. And then we can ride it and then use it to defeat Valua forever. Oh yeah. For as many moon crystals as we're getting, I'm surprised we haven't tried to control a Gigas. I guess they're trying to avoid doing that, but it seems like every Gigas we've passed by seems to wake up. <laughs> well, whatever. You're gonna die, friend. I'm going to die. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do here. Just, uh, same old thing. Whew, 
Man, yeah, this fight can really drag on. Even though we got all those moon co moonstone cannon shots off, it's still taking forever. Good lord! Come on, get to the part where you die. I like how all the, uh, the Tenku ships kind of <laughs> just abandoned us. I guess they were all... They, well, they must have retreated too, I guess. The Valuans. Well, jeez. Evasive action? What? Better not be on the turn where I kill you. Oh my god! Ugh. We killed a Gigas! Yes! First time ever! And it's exploding and flying over there. Okay. <laughs> Good enough for me. Geronimo! Oh! I, I can't believe it! The Air Pirates defeated Blueheim! I need to get out of here! Huh? Kangen! You cannot escape! Surrender or die! I... I... surrender. Yeah, you better. Just kill him anyway. <laughs> Although we did kind of drive the Valuans away. That's always nice. Brave adventurers from the West, I thank you for saving Yafatoma. But it was my country that caused all of this. I am terribly sorry for all the trouble caused by the Valuans. I don't know how I can make it up to you. Prince Enrique, please, raise your head. Daigo has explained everything to me. You feel responsible because you are a Valuan prince, but it is not your fault. Thank you for understanding. But we have only won the battle. As we speak, the Armada is regrouping. Until Valua sets itself back down the, the path of righteousness, I'll continue to fight them. I see. Very well, then. I will pray for your well-being. And perhaps the Magosphere will aid you in your fight. Take it with you. Oh, thank you. Really? Are you sure it's okay? Didn't you say it's necessary in appointing a successor to the throne? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even without a symbol, I have such an accomplished successor already. I've also decided to return to my father and accept the responsibility of defending my people. That's great. Hey, what happened to Kangan and Miraji? They were exiled to Tenku Island. We figured that if they spent some time in exile, they'd realize what they've done and become better people. Or kill each other. <laughs> I like that plan. It serves them right. Now reminds me, I noticed that your ship isn't capable of going to great heights or depths. Here, take this with you. This is from my people. It contains all the knowledge necessary to enable your ship to fly higher or lower than you ever imagined. Wow, thank you. I'll make sure we put it to good use. Father, I have something to ask of you. I... please let me go with these people. What? 
what they say is true, then there are matters of great importance occurring in the West. You and Daigo both said that you will stay here to protect our country. But I am helping defend our country by helping these people on their quest. Hmm. Well said, Moegi. I'm proud to have you as a sister. <laughs> wow. Dude, I like this old getup better. This one's kind of weird. Prince Enrique, I speak to you not as a fellow prince, but as a brother concerned for his sister's well-being. Please take care of her. Hmm. You have my word. I will defend her with my life. Princess, let us join forces and return peace to this world. Yes, Prince Enrique, I entrust my life to you. That sounds like a marriage proposal to me. Very well then. It appears I do not have much choice in this matter anyway. Enrique, you're getting much more reliable by the minute. You <laughs> seem like a different person. Just until recently, all I ever saw you I ever saw of you was the back of your head leaning over the railing of the ship. <laughs> Aka, do you have to constantly remind me about that? <laughs> She's right, Enrique. Alright, let's go home. Okay. We got the Blue Moon Crystal, a book on polarity, and the princess. <laughs> so sweet. I'd say that's them some mighty good spoils there. Mighty good spoils. Let's use these captain stripes before I forget. <laughs> Which is bound to happen. Womp womp. Okay. And then the way. So I guess that's, uh, yeah. That's what we got. So, um. Huh. <laughs> I guess we're done here? Woo! What a way to go out, man. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing I want to check, actually. Let me see here about Miss Moegi. Ah. She, where is she? Over here. Uh, protects your ship from enemy magic. Huh. Oh man, that's a tough one. I don't know. I guess we'll just stick with Pinta. It's not like I use crew commands anyway. And uh, you know what, guys? Uh, well, let's get back to the ship really quick. This. Not really sure how long this part has been. I don't remember when I started. I'm sure it's been over 20 minutes though. So I could probably end it just when we get back to our shipperoo. And uh, yeah, well, yeah, we need to find out what the heck we're gonna be doing. Because <laughs> I mean, uh, obviously we're gonna be leaving the area, but I know there's gonna be some other stuff we need to take care of before that, so... We'll do this. It's great that we got the blue crystal and all, but where do we go from here? Perhaps we should return to Crescent Isle and study the book on ship polarity in order to modify the Delphinus. Go home? But that's to the west of here. How are we supposed to get back? Let's go east! Hmm. Maybe we can try and go east from here. Wait a second. We'll just be getting farther away from Crescent Isle. Um, didn't Beleza say that she came here by going west from Ixitaka? If that is true, then if we go east from here, we should be able to reach Ixitaka. What? So you mean the east and west of the world are connected? Jeez, Aiko, where have you been? Hmm. I seem to recall hearing legends about the world being round. According to the geological studies of Valua, the world is a sphere. That means that the east is connected to the west and the north is connected to the south. Of course, no one has ever proven this, and those that believe this are to be true are branded as heretics. Dude, we've done this like four times. I don't... Where have you people been? That's interesting. Well, it looks like we're going to see if Beleza was telling the truth or not. We came to Yafatoma from Crescent Isle by heading east. We'll continue on sailing to the east 
and if we reach Crescent Isle, then we'll prove that the world is round. Yay! Wow, you mean we're actually g going to try to sail around the world? Yes. Alright everyone, prepare for departure. We're going east, destination Crescent Isle. Oh man. <laughs> oh lord. So yeah, we're gonna sail east. Because uh, there should be a break in that rock um, reef. So, uh, yeah. But I think before we do that, we're actually going to get a few more discoveries up here. And uh, by up here, I mean down here as well next time. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time.